Hello everyone, glad to see you at the GCCRC conference. I'm Lee Hong, a doctoral candidate at Sungyeonggwan University in South Korea. I will introduce my study, which examined the effect of following traditional and macro celebrities on social media on internalization of beauty ideals, self-photo manipulation, and eating disorder. Eating disorder, a range of abnormal or disturbed eating habits, is a common problem among young adults. Pictures posted on social media are often highly stylized and edited. Some studies have found that exposure to idealized pictures of celebrities on social media is responsible for viewers' internalization of beauty ideals and disordered eating. Besides viewing, social media users also upload their photos, which often have been edited as well. Self-photo manipulation has been also found to account for body concerns and dietary restraint. Most of the related studies have focused on the effects of traditional celebrities, such as models. However, no study has examined the effects of traditional celebrities together with macro-celebrities on eating disorder. Therefore, this study aimed to examine how following appearance-focused celebrities, including traditional and macro-celebrities, such as fashion and fitness influencers, affect followers' eating disorder. In addition, it also tried to examine whether or not self-photo manipulation will mediate the relationship between following appearance-focused celebrities, beauty ideal internalization, and eating disorder. Socioculture theory suggests that when females are exposed to idealized images, they tend to internalize the media's portrayal of the unrealistic beauty ideals and engage in appearance comparisons. Many studies have verified that exposure to idealized celebrity images on social media results in thin ideal internalization, body dysfunction, and disordered eating. Traditional celebrities are those who have gained fame based on their professional talents or achievements. Macro-celebrities, also known as influencers, are celebrities who have gained or developed their fame through internet by presenting themselves as experts on different fields. They are exerting a grow growing effect on their followers. It has been reported that, compared to traditional celebrities, Followers feel more similar with influencers and feel that they have built a parasocial relationship with influencers and that influencers just like a long-distant friend. So it is unsurprising that influencers on social media sometimes even have a greater influence on their followers. Appearance-focused influencers mainly include fashion and beauty influencers and health fitness influencers. Their photos are often highly stylized and edited as well, and usually appear thin and toned. Therefore, following appearance-focused influencers on social media may also exert an effect on internalization of beauty ideals and eating disorder. Objectification theory suggests that Constant promotion of beauty ideals in the media leads females to adopt an outsider's perspective and critically evaluate their worth based on social standards. And they may feel pressured to conform to the gender and beauty norms and post attractive pictures. That means exposure to beauty ideals on social media may not only lead to internalization, but also encourage self-photo manipulation. Manipulating self-photos based on beauty standards could create a picture of an inauthentic ideal self. The ideal self may function as a self-guide and behavior standards which may drive people to adopt certain behaviors, in our case, for example, diet, to reduce the discrepancy between ideal self and actual self. Based on the literature review, I proposed that appearance-focused celebrity-related activity on social media 
including traditional celebrity, fashion beauty influencer, and health fitness influencer, will increase internalization of beauty ideals and cell photo manipulation, which could both further increase eating disorder. Cell photo manipulation will also mediate the relationship between internalization of beauty ideals and eating disorder. An online survey was conducted to collect the data. The target participants were 20 to 34 year old female Instagram user. Appearance focused celebrity related activity was measured by asking participants how often do they follow well and interact with three types of celebrities on Instagram. Beauty ideal internalization was measured by internalization general subscale of the SATAQ questionnaire. The sample items include, I wish I look like the celebrities on Instagram. Cell photo manipulation was measured by asking participants, how often do they do the following to make their photos look better? For example, make themselves look taller or skinnier. Eating disorder was measured by eating disorders inventory. Sample items are, I think about dieting and I am terrified of gaining weight. The figure shows the result of the past analysis. Traditional celebrity related activity neither significantly increased internalization of beauty ideas nor cell photo manipulation. On the other hand, beauty and fashion influencer related activity increased internalization of beauty ideals, which further increased cell photo manipulation, which eventually increased eating disorder. In terms of health and fitness influencers, the modification indices suggest that health and fitness influencer related activity directly increased eating disorder. It also indirectly increased eating disorder through cell photo manipulation. Findings of this study suggest that compared to traditional celebrities, appearance focused influencers on social media may have a greater effect on eating disorder through increasing beauty ideal internalization and cell photo manipulation. Although health fitness influencers aim to encourage exercise and a healthy lifestyle, and intentionally they may exert a great influence on eating disorder. It also suggests that cell photo manipulation fully mediated the relationship between beauty ideal internalization and eating disorder. This study is expected to contribute to the literature on social media use and body image by exploring and comparing the influence of different types of celebrities on social media on eating disorder. It also emphasizes the importance of cell photo manipulation in predicting eating disorder. Some practical implications are that maybe we can consider to limit our time of exposure to body-focused health and fitness accounts and also focus more on health rather than body shape while engaging in health behaviors. And maybe we could try not to manipulate our photos, which may create a discrepancy between ideal self and extra self and lead to eating disorder. This is the end of my presentation. Thanks for your interest. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.